This video is a quick introduction to Skeda. As a user, uh, you will be invited to Skeda and you will be able to book rooms within a particular venue. The link that you'll get uh, will look something like this. Uh, we're going to look at 227 um, Elizabeth Street. Uh, the key just here has been obfuscated because obviously we don't want people to register for it that shouldn't be coming. So uh, you will you'll enter your uh, information and agree to the terms and conditions and off we go. Now once you have registered and you're logged in, you'll immediately see the uh, booking screen and you'll notice first of all that uh, we can scroll through the dates, change the calendar days and so forth. And then across the top we've got the different rooms uh, that are available uh, within this particular location at 227 Elizabeth. Um, if you scroll up and down, you'll see the uh, time is down the left hand side. And then these areas that are booked out uh, will show you that somebody has a booking for that particular location. You'll notice that some bookings can be as small as 15 minutes and they can be pretty much as long as you want to. So in order to create a booking, let's say I'm gonna have a look at Friday the 3rd of March, and I want to book the internal boardroom. At this point, if I just scroll up and down, there's nothing booking there. So let's say I want to do an 11 till 12.30 booking. So I start by clicking once, and then if I want to adjust this, I can use the, um, uh, the click and drag feature to change that time. As I do so, you'll notice up here that this is changing as well. Um, and if I get my cursor in the right place, I can then drag that down and uh, take it to the time that I want it to be. So I've got something close to what I need. It's 10.45 to 12, it's not quite right, but we can change that in just a second. So now we'll click on book. I just wanna refine that time. So I'm gonna click on edit. And I said, I'm gonna want 10.30 to Sorry, I said I want 11, 11 till 12.30. Uh, there we go. All right, so that's that sorted. Um, if you decide you wanted to use a different uh, room, you can click in here, select that room. You can also book two at a time, for example, and take those out. Uh, if you want to, you can add a title and state the, the purpose of the meeting. And you can also use the weekly um, button here to set repeating. So you can say every two weeks for a particular amount of time, except on these particular dates. And then finally, uh, just make sure your details are up to date. So obviously we've got uh, my email address here, first name and last name, and then uh, just put in your uh, contact number in there and then the uh, company you work for. Once you've done, um, these details will always come up in future ones, so you won't have to type them in twice. Click on confirm, and there we go, there's my booking. If I want to list all of the bookings I have in the system, I can come up into the top right, click on my bookings, and there it is right there. It shows me the spaces that I've got booked, and if I want to, I can push the X and cancel it. Obviously, if you've got lots, there'll be a number of pages of those bookings. I can also now, because this one uh, is mine, if I go to Friday, there it is. Um, I can also do some things in here. I can cancel that booking. It, you know, if I want to change the time, well, I cancel that one and I recreate it. Um, when you do any of these actions, you'll also get an email just confirms what you're doing. One of the common questions for Skeda is how do I invite other users? Uh, well, this is a resource booking system. It's not a, a meeting calendar uh, as you would be used to in you know your Outlook or your Google Calendar. So uh, come in here to book the resource, uh, or book the venue that you want to uh, use, and then go into your normal calendaring and uh, invite the other people to the meeting through that uh, normal process. Uh, now once you're done, just save that part uh, of the URL uh, or with slash booking inside of it to your favorites, to your bookmarks, and then obviously that makes it easy to come along. Um, when you load the booking page, it will always load the current date. 
So you'll always uh, end up on this page having a look at the current day and time so you can see who else has got other bookings.